some women so perfect. In particular, the ones you see on the beach. And I used to think, oh, it's all in the magazines. They airbrush them. Nobody looks like that in real life. They can't do. But they do, because I've met them. And I am friends with a few of them. Believe you me, they exist. And the thing that annoys me is they all think they don't have perfect bodies. They say to me, you're not the only one with body hang-ups. You know, I've got body hang-ups too. I've got, a, I've got cellulite. And then they point to their cellulite and it's about the size of a mosquito bite. One, one scratch of cellulite. Or, I've got a bruise. I've got a bruise on my knee. I'm very paranoid about the bruise. I love a bruise. I love a bruise. Recently, I went away to Thailand with a few of them, a few of these thin, perfect people. And they all said to me, come on, let's go down the beach. Let's have a really fun day on the beach. And I said, no, I I don't want to go to the beach. Not with you. Not with you. Where are the normal looking people? But they managed to convince me to go to the beach and it was all fun and games until they took the clothes off and had their bikinis on and we they all looked at me and I had to take my clothes off and show my bikini. Cover up tops don't exist in the land of these perfect people, of these perfect thin body people. They don't need cover-up tops. They don't need skirtinis. They're able to go to Primark, buy a three-pound bikini, a tiny tissue of material of bikini, and that's enough for them. I have to take books. Because I will not go running off down a beach with a load of perfect-looking people dancing and skipping down the beach like models. I am not a model normal person why do I never end up on beaches with normal people and then they all want to pose for a photograph in the sea and they want me to pose with them why would I do that why would I pose next to you what's in it for me tell you what I'll take the photo pretend I wasn't here pretend this never happened I'm not one of you I should not be here. They should have different beaches for different kinds of women, for different kinds of people. They need a beautiful beach and a normal beach. A thin beach and a fat beach. I'm not saying I'm fat. I'm normal. Normal does not mean fitting into a three pound bikini from Primark. Why is it acceptable on a beach to wear what is practically underwear and to walk into shops on holiday in your bikini which is practically pants and bra but if you go down to your local Morrisons in your pants and bra you'll get frowned at and probably chucked out the world's gone mad it's gone mad it's gone absolutely bonkers Since when was a bikini an acceptable item of clothing to wear in public? Why did that happen? Whose idea was that? Who designed the bikini? Well, you wouldn't catch me in a bikini. Skirtini, maybe. Bikini, no. And there are some parts that will never be thin. No matter how little you eat, they will never be thin. I have a big bottom. I know I have a big bottom. I don't mind it anymore. I'm very old. I've got over it. But all this talk in the press about, oh, big bottoms are in, show off your bottom on the beach. If you're Kim Kardashian, fine. Yes. A round, big bottom that is tanned and smooth. Not a British, white, wrinkly, cellulite ridden bottom that looks like a squashed apple 
No, that is not good. Not good at all. 